Thank you so much for staying tuned. If you just join us, this is TMI, Sunday's edition with Wilson on Masha. It's all about the Health Power Report. The uh, hashtag again says uh, uh, a panel presentation will be on with this. We're going to take a short break to like entertain one of our sponsors. Right now, we are back. And just join us in the studio is uh, you know, a human rights activist. You get to hear put food on the table. Jeremy, welcome. Osaho Okoro Obaraye. Welcome to TMI on this edition. All right. We've spoken at length about this hashtag NSAS white paper. And right now, there are different opinions, and of course, people tend it towards one direction. How do you feel about one, someone who accepting some? Two, say 14 is out of his jurisdiction. Six, we are watered, or will I say tampered with? And of course, some others rejected. What do you feel about this? Yeah, uh, thank you so much. I wasn't expecting anything less hmm. when it comes to governance in Nigeria. Uh -huh. So, Saolo did not fail me because he acted on what I was expecting. That, uh, you were expecting it? Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I was expecting uh, this outcome. So, that's why when I saw the message yesterday, I said, How come we already knew that uh, this man was going to reject some, accept some, cover up some, because it's not a governor, it's a governor, but it's not a governor. The, the issue is that uh, there, there, there are people out there. <laughs> that he must do their bidding for. And those people also want to be in the good books of uh, the Kabas ruling this nation. And uh, Saolo Sa Sa would have shot himself on the leg doing only one thing if he had accepted it. If not, even impeach him immediately. Because uh, they would have told him to say, you want to use your own to spoil my own. Mm. So I want to salute him for really not disgracing the likes of us for not standing in the side of the people and forgetting that uh, it is the, you know, <laughs> He didn't say it is not the side of the people. No, no, no. It, he never so said that. I, uh, my brother, <laughs> history, history we judge him negatively. Mm. The reason is because uh, nobody begged you to form this committee. Nobody begged you about the white paper issue. Mm. You were the one that, there are some states now that we are yet to hear theirs. Mm. So with what has happened to Sabolu, something will not just it will not come again, it will just mm. water away. Because what the governors did was to call these people, just we we look into it. Stop fighting. Let it become normal. Mm. So it did not not a normal Nigerian nature. What were you not expecting? That they should come and tell you that uh, what the police did was wrong. First instance, they denied even killing. The first, they denied him killing. But at the end, they've told you now that it's only one, only one, only one or two people they kill. And the government is even telling you now that uh, some was water. That is to say, the, the integrity of the justices, mm -hmm. the integrity of the, 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 the committee you set up, you, 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 you it was not even trusted by you. Because if you are giving them the opportunity to do what they want to do, now they give you their re re report. Mm -hmm. You are already calling results. You are already judging people that are putting over 20, 25, 30 years to make sure that their name mm. should be written in gold. You kept telling us some was water, some was doctored, some was littered, some was this. Speaking unnecessary grammar on what to act upon. So to me, I salute him. You should do more. It should do more yeah, because, in that regard. Yes, it should do more in that regard so mm -hmm. that uh, it will go against the people more because what he is not fighting for the people, he's fighting for himself. But, but, but what he said, he said he's fighting for the people, he's fighting no, for the no, 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 were like, no, you know, no. oppressed or manhandled during the uh, Lekki Tollgate shooting. Yes, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you, I say he's not fighting for the people. Mm -hmm. If he was fighting for the people, he would have accepted what the people are. Please. Telling us how many, how many I need to win about 14, 6. You already, it's going down. How many? It's all to me. He, he, I wish him well in the second term bid because. Uh, uh, no, are you not saying that it's, it's all about the second term bid? What, what is he doing? What I'm, I'm telling you, that's what he's doing. Of course. I get it. He has, he has so many to lose if he takes this risk because the, the all happened in Lagos. All eyes now was on that white paper issue. Hmm. White paper came out in the morning. 
In the evening, uh, Mr. La Mohammed hmm. denied it to say uh, they, they are not accepting it. You are not accepting what happened in Lagos. Lagos telling you this is what happened to us. He wasn't there. This is what happened. They, they called uh, policemen. People came to testify. He said no. So for him to have denied almost immediately, that goes to tell you that someone who was already at the risk of losing second term be to say, why is this man going against the people that will give him second term? I get it now. He's going to, they will not ask him. I see the people that will give it to you. I see we. That you have to fight we that will give it to you. So the man has played the guns very well, but you should also remember that uh, there's life out of government. Oh, right. Because the, the truth is that nobody should pray to lose someone unknowingly. If a member of the bourgeois, their family member, was in that place that they are shot, I'm sure these white people would have seen the light of the day. Hmm. Oh. But because it was members of the poor of the poor, even the camera that was found at the scene by fashion lab, up to date, not yet, nobody knew what happened to that camera. camera. I'm sure you are a journalist, that hmm. news was on there. So it goes to tell you that right from day one, they wanted to. That is Nigeria for you. Oh. Issues like this, it happened to Ghana, it happened to Fela. Nigeria today still denied even killing the uh, Fela's mom. They went there, massacre too. It has been, it's a norm. Uh, well, well, let's, let's, let's water down that word massacre, please. That caused altercation in the first interview okay. segment. Because the government said there was no massacre. Yes, you know, let me explain something to you. Yeah. Massacre. It's not, the, the name might sound the way it is, but like, as in one big name. Mm. But by the time, uh, 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 God forbid, about one or two people is killed unknowingly, as in not, the, not with COVID-19, not mm. with uh, shooting. I get it now. Yes, shooting. Do. Bombing. You don't expect the name, a layman can understand this. They came to massacre. I get things now. Yeah. What uh, 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 we, we also witnessed that in 1897 when the British came to massacre. I, I really like to, my, so my grandmother wrote the word massacre. <laughs> See, but but you cannot compare to British invasion for crying out loud. No, no, it, 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 that is lucky invasion. <laughs> people were seated and they were invaded upon. Mm. They sat down, they are doing nothing. Unless people sitting down with candle on, on the national hand. flag. You know, so on their hands, seated. And what happened was that the light went off. And shooting came and they denied almost immediately with video still showing. The next day people crying. Up the dead cost no foul. They swept there immediately. I tell you, no, there was no massacre. And now papers, uh, flyers are now coming to say this happened. This happened. The, the people giving their last of what they noticed and what they witnessed. Their testament. Yes, their yeah. testament. And the governor came out. To the public to say if you knew that some of the things was above you what i expected him to do was to have not before you want accept it check it and say these things madam that you've fixed here or god that you fixed here go and check your constitution well low. it's above my power bring the one you know we can do not after receiving people were expecting to jubilate to say so i cannot the the, the people that did that issue cannot be held liable to what they did mm -hmm. that's the issue of it that was the price issue. It now becomes to say you cannot, they cannot be sued to say this is what happened. All right. And the government is now saying uh, some are above jurisdiction yeah. and what did not happen in Abuja. It happened in Lagos. In Lagos. So if you cannot take charge of what happened in Lagos, it has got to show first of all you fit your constitution out, uh, which is the lives and property of the people. Hmm. So he has also failed. But not because, as I said to my leaders before, hmm. that Nigeria is structured. On a, on a shaky foundation. Hmm. So that is why the government does not even know that. What he has done is against what is what to. Okay, I'll come back to you, Abaraye. Can one deduce, that is the word deduction, that is afraid of the Ambon Day treatment? Yes. We're talking about second term. Yes. Because Abon never got the second term because of one squabble or the other, he was like mm -hmm. out. Despite, according to report, what he did in Lagos, he was shown the exit. Yes, the singular reason why the governor is acting in this manner, to my mind, is because the governor wants to play his card well so that he can be guaranteed of the second term. Yeah. All of this game is for the second term. The purported uh, peace march 
is for second term. And thank God for some well-meaning Nigerians who have rejected the governor's uh, peace uh, march call. They told him, no, we cannot. Because in the first place, the JPI was constituted by the governor. The governor never consulted negotiations before he single-handedly constituted the panel. He never consulted Nigerians. It was his handiwork. Now, and the same governor, where, when he was about to swear in, or at the point of swearing in the members of that panel, I can remember vividly, he told Lagosians and Nigerians and the entire world that these are men and women of integrity. integrity. Now, the integrity, the integrity of the it's panel good. is put to test. So, the governor himself has failed because him saying that the panel's report contravene or contradicts what happened at the Lekki toll gate on the 20th of October 2021, meaning the governor himself has picked men who don't have integrity. That, is, that goes to, to, to tell or to show to the fact that the governor himself do not have integrity because it is a matter well, of... You cannot say that. This is okay. someone who we are talking about. If he can pick men and women who do not have integrity. It takes a to pick men and women of integrity. Good. But the government and he said, never interrupted their findings. Just a deep bigger report. He never interjected. He never manipulated anything. He was like, just walk with free hands. Pretty good. Pretty good, Wilson. Mm -hmm. He said they should walk with free hands. Mm -hmm. But now they've walked with free hands and they've come up with a free report. And the government said the report is not free. That the report is surrounded. The report is bounded. The report has is barricaded with controversies and contradictions. For goodness sake. All of these persons have come to tell us they are by their conducts, by their actions, by what they do, by what they say, that they are not men of integrity. The government only want to play safe for a second term. Because okay, now that the white paper is out, why is he calling for a peace march? It's out but not revealed yet. Who told us that the governor, at the point of swearing in the four member to carry out the assignment of coming up with the white paper, told us that the white paper will come out on or before two weeks, the fortnight. And they came, they horridly, they horridly, just like my learner senior said at the outset of this program, who did they, did they ask for memo from other person? It means they just sit down in their bedroom arithmetically begin to add and subtract from the panel's report. Hmm. They themselves watered down the panel's report. They themselves told you and I that the panel's report is barricaded with a lot of what? Controversies. Are you getting me? Hmm. Now, they've come up with a white paper report that is also surrounded with controversies. Hmm. All right. So, where is now their integrity? I'll come back to you, Barrister Emmanuel Obakpolo, Barrister Cosmos. At first, it was all smooth. It was all applause. Yes, Lagos State Government are doing so, so well. The JPI, they are on point. In fact, they were, you know, giving uh, an opportunity to express themselves, not watering the truth. Everything was going cook and curry until the report was presented. Does it mean that politics is beginning to have a say in whatever they are doing right now? You see, I will tell you, I've been issue. It took place. You know, I said it here, I said, I am very sure that the Lagos State government will be biting their fingers. Now, Kai, we thought these people are people of integrity. Integrity in the sense that when we tell you to do something, you do it. But not knowing that they are people of genuine integrity. Hmm. You understand? Now, you felt I could manipulate them. And I'm very sure, I want to believe that they did try, but those people refused. Hence, some people complained then and left. You get what I'm saying? They tried, those people refused. So they left there and said, okay, let us wait till the white paper. And I said it, I'll keep saying it. You can finish, and when you finish, you bring it. Where the people that will sit down and issue out the white paper. And the white paper is, as far as I can, the legal aspect of it that you can sue with. Now, politics started from the very beginning. You picked these people, you don't inform anybody, there was no whole meeting on that. You thought they were going to dance to your tune. But unfortunately, unfortunately for the people, they didn't. They did the right thing. Then you now came up with the policies against that. When the time comes for the white paper, we'll do our own. 
And I said it here. I said, Let, there's no need to start rejoicing now. Let us wait for the white paper to come. Hmm. And the white paper has come. Those people gave their result. They ah, this is not what we want at all. And you know, uh, what's his name? Uh, so we we'll have or we we'll want to come for a second term. And if he tries anything contrary to what his godfathers want him to do, he will not get the second term. Like my brother said, they might even impeach him. So definitely he will want to do anything possible and everything possible to make sure that he dances to the tune of his godfather. Mm. And those people are the people who don't want the voice of Nigeria to be heard. This is what we want it. This is what we, like I said, I said, the military started kicking, the federal government started kicking. Mm. Who is somebody not to dance to their tune? They called the military, the uh, uh, committee called the uh, military. They refused to come. Now, if you are called to come and give your part, you refuse. Mm -hmm. You won't blame the uh, person who is there mm -hmm. to speculate mm -hmm. because you refuse to come. Now, the, everything that was needed to have been done was done. People of integrity were in that committee mm -hmm. and they did exactly what Nigeria being a country that hates truth. Became angry. When you say Nigeria, I mean, those are the names of affairs. Why would you say it like that? How does it, how do, it's our interest? Uh, protected, uh, protected mm. that you do it like this, and then they forgotten that when they left there, when they leave there, tomorrow you come to the normal state. I remember PDP saying they'll be there for 60 years. Now they left, they are crying. What we're doing when you were there, you were doing almost the same thing. But this was not came to say we are going to repent, use it to defraud the nation politically. You, sorry, you just can't use that comment, please. Look, they didn't defraud anybody. Okay, now, when you come to a people, you mm. say, I want to do X, Y, Z. Based on that, they vote for you. And at the end of the day, you are not doing an out of it. What do you call that? For me, I call it defrauding the people uh, 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 politically. So, because you got that vote based on that. So, okay. that is it. Okay. If nothing like that works, be based on what you told them to do, mm. and you are there doing the contract, so what are we talking about? Okay. About a you are the voice of the masses. They say they want to protest. That that is not what they bargained for. And of course, the Lagos State government is saying we are also going out for a peace march. These two bodies, the Talakawa, so to speak, and the government on one hand, plying a protest. What do you think it spells for Lagos State? It will also spell that anything. The, for real? Yes. What we see happen is that the, the side of the government will still take the take the day. Hmm. Because the government, the side of the government, will have money to oil their protest continuously. The people will be fed with uh, mouthwatery ditches and uh, good stipends to go back home, depending on how what they want. Hmm. What is that? It's kind of cowards. We don't even see those that will support them with pure water. You know, even pure water is not 20 naira. Hmm. And the cheaper place is still 50 naira now. So hmm. it's. That's but in Delta City, it's 5 naira. No, I'm telling you. Yeah, don't know about that. Okay, so in Bidin, yeah. yeah. In Delta, it's right there. Yes. So I don't want to go into that because yeah. right now I have a knack. Anyway, let's continue with the topic, please. What it will also go down on that. It's yeah. pending for protest now for the Talakawa. Yeah. We'll not see the light of the day. Okay. Then, let's say the side of the government, uh, the government will also have security back up. Tight security because the governor is going to be there. So, him being there alone, all the guarantees total security there. But inside of the Scala Cowers, we have um, maybe comedians and uh, skit, writers, skit writers, actors, yeah. and yes, the rest of them. Which also would be manando, even if they, mm. if they try to go against uh, mm. the rule and they, 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 will, they will manage to carry DJ just to dance. And by the time hunger strikes, everybody go back home to mm. look for what food to eat. Yes. Mm. So the government will never ever put food on the table because they know they put food on the table. This is what they have sent to it. That's why they will do the, the, the hmm. take out food. Are you getting it now? Then when you are hungry, they bring the lead to and you, you jump you out. Hmm. So it goes to tell you that uh, history will never judge our world positive. In this regard? Yes, in this regard. It's very simple and clear. You did something, there was a protest in Lagos that was covered even by CNN. Um, Nobody begged you for white paper report. In the state now, 
the, the governors here to see or even give us the outcome of the exercise protest. But nobody is complaining. He can do not to even give without even that's not the problem. Mm. Someone who was the one shouting about to give, now you bought it out. You bought it now, you said no, you're not correct. If a teacher teaches somebody that that person fails, it's not the person that failed, it's the teacher mm. that failed. Nigeria is Nigeria uh, 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 super egos. We are not saying they should scrap the 22 players. We are saying the head coach should go because mm. he's not putting the right, uh, the right to all. So if the governor of the state, Lagos State, has said this thing that was done, it was not rightly done. Yes, he is the one that has failed. Well, he never said it wasn't rightly done. They made some selections. Listen now. They accepted some. No, no. They doctored listen, some. Listen, listen, they rejected listen, some. Listen, listen, listen. So what's the big deal? Uh, uh, I'm not a lawyer, but I know little things about laws. Just mm. small. Mm. Now, the small that I know is that what they brought, someone who was not a member of that committee. Mm. So what the committee brought, what I expected from him, He's not to set up another committee. Set up another committee again for a white paper. No, 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 no. They, they brought it to you. What I said from him was, "You people are done well. I will look into it. Keep it, not to answer it again. Let them be shouted. Because where it is against himself, the most now wants to start scrutinizing as he checking to say this one is above my jurisdiction. This one is not. So you are you are already making a fool of yourself. Mm -hmm. Now you want to cover everything up with a peace work match. Why will you do a peace work match when you have peace? Mm -hmm. On your hand, when you have peace to sign, you have it. Mm -hmm. We do that. There will be jubilation in the streets of Lagos. Why jubilation? People happy to say the governor has answered them. Now you disgrace yourself totally. You are not saying you want to do a peace map. Mm -hmm. What is the basic? What as in why are you bringing peace? Where peace is your hand? Now you're not protesting to say no. Once you still go against it because this is this is not what you promised. You promised that you were going to look into the white people issue. You want to buy CA, now you are saying this has happened. So, Samuel Lu uh, has done graciously well. Now, the the, you know, the leaders are already popping shop because he has uh, be dead what he was talking Are you there with the leaders? Come on. No, 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 no. If, are you speaking like a police yes, now or a voice yes, of the masses? Which one are you speaking there, as? If there was no other tone, yes. to his, the Samuel that I know would have answered the people correctly. Okay, okay. Because of the other tone, yeah. the man in his closet, in his mm. closet, in his closet hmm. alone knows that what he's doing now in his closet to say ah, i don't fuck up oh uh, uh, watch your language now uh, watch your yeah. language please yeah B -E -E. Hmm. so he can still do things right all right you just hold on we'll be right back after this break to talk more on this particular issue should it be about the government or should it be about the people that is what my analyst is talking about we'll return after this break tmi Every opinion counts. Yes, so we are the last uh, a part of this morning on ITV. Sunday's edition is all about the White Paper Report. Well, this time around, since we are pressed for time, my analysts will give the last line of what they feel the battle transpired here in course of the White Paper Report. Yes, it has been made public to Nigerians. Well, Nigerians are beginning to react because of what they've been hearing. Talk about six doctors, 14 not in my, uh, not in my uh, jurisdiction. Uh, uh, you know, she was given to the federal government. 11 accepted, six doctors accepted. So many, so many conditions. They just are like, come on, what is really going on? Gentlemen, maximum one minute each. What's your summation? in all of this. Obarai. Thank you so much. Uh, I want yeah. to congratulate someone for standing by the side of the bourgeois where he belongs and uh, forgetting about the Talakawas, the people that stay 247 to vote. And uh, also now let the people know that 2023 is very close. What Samoa Law has done now, it will be better for you to reverse and reshow to see the power truly belongs to the people. If it was the people that sent Sao Olu this era, he would have immediately also answered them. So this time, the people should know that taking money for election, these are some of the things you see because you can no longer talk. So they should allow that day of election, let the younger of that day beat them so that the person coming can put food on their table. 
So right. if they if they take money on that they just food on their table for twenty four hours, they'll suffer another four years. Hmm. But if they forget to say, let's hunger, let's just put away food for today's election to repair to build a table and solid foundation for the next four years, it's possible with them. So I will make God bless him. It's true we're also judging negatively. <laughs> According to him, he has always been on the side of the people. Pastor Mauno, one minute, please. Uh, it is clear and evident that Sawonlu only tested the waters mm. to ascertain the size of his popularity with regards to second term. And uh, uh, this is a signal to Nigerians and to Lagosians that look, the kind of leaders we have in this country are leaders who only practice the three-point agenda, me, myself, and I, me, my wife, and my children. So Nigerians should know what to do come 2023. Thank you so much, Mr. Mauna. Mr. Cosmos? Well, for me, like I said earlier, I, I'm not disappointed with regards to what happened. It's what we expected San Ru to do. That's exactly what he's doing now. But you see, the, the, the electorates should know that like my brother said, Obama said, when you put leaders like that in power, if actually they were voted by the people, these are the kind of things that come out of it. So, well, we have nothing more to say. The people should can stand up and fight for their rights. Thank you so, so much, gentlemen. Let's see how all this will pan out. The report is there, but not in the public domain. But yesterday, what happened to, you know, series of the reports put forth by the JPI. Right now, whether for the white paper is here. Many Nigerians are not happy with what they are perceiving when we talk about the white paper. Some are saying they're going to stage a protest. Others are saying they're going to stage a march for peace. How do you think all this will pan out? Should the government be for the people? Or better still, to maintain national security for all to go smoothly? Should that be the ultimate goal? Well. My analysts, their comments are theirs. It has nothing to do with ITV, but it did the best possible to follow the regulations governing the airwaves. Gentlemen, I appreciate a wonderful analysis. Thank you so, so much. We'll do it again next week, Sunday. God willing. Bye for now.